Hello, welcome to another Freeka tutorial video. In today's video, I will show you how to create this 3D model. Okay, let's get started. Here is the unit settings for this tutorial and I am using FreeCAD Lite interface. Let's pick up parametric part interface and I am using part design workbench. Click here to create the sketch. Pick XY plane. Click on triangle tool and draw a triangle at the origin like this. Type 30 and enter. Make sure the top corner snap to vertical axis. The cursor should look like this. Press and hold the middle mouse to pan. Draw another triangle at the origin again. Type 20 and enter. Again, make sure it is constrained to vertical axis. Let's draw a circle along this axis somewhere here and snap outside edge with this corner point. Draw another circle at the center and snap with this point. Let me make this inside circle 10 mil by adding dimension tool. I'm going to copy these two circles to other two corners of the triangle. To do that, I'm going to select these two circles and click on this tool. Type 2 for copies and pick the center of the triangle. Type 240 for the angle, which is 2 third of 360 degrees. Close the window and Click on the path feature. Type 5 mil and turn on symmetric to plane option. Click OK. Turn on the visibility of the origin and create sketch on the XY plane. Click this tool to copy some edges from the existing geometry for reference. Let's draw a circle. Same as this circle. Draw another circle slightly bigger. It's hard to see the circle because it's inside the solid. Let me change the style to wireframe so we can see all the edges of the solid model. Let's repeat the same at other corners. Draw two circles at each corners. Let me add the dimension for the offset. Now I will add equal constraint to these outside circles to make them all the same. It is fully constrained. And close the current task. Let me turn on the shaded style and turn off the visibility of the origin.
let's select the sketch and click on the pad feature. Turn on symmetric to plane option and leave the 10 mil. Click OK. Now let me switch back to wireframe style so we can see all the edges. You need to see the edges clearly in order to add fillet and chaffer features. Let's add fillet first. Click on these edges. Type 8 and enter. Sometimes it's good to switch back to shaded style to check the model before applying other features. Let's switch back to wireframe style. Now I will add chamfer to the three inside corners. Enter 8mm for the size. Click anywhere here to see the update. Let's make it 10mm. Now switch back to shaded style. Navigate the model. Press and hold the middle mouse for pan. Scroll wheel for zoom in and out. Press and hold middle mouse and then press and hold left mouse to rotate. Click OK. Let's add some more radius. This time I will select the faces so all the edges of the faces will be radius. Leave 1 mil and click OK. Let's add small radius to rest of the model. Make it 0.5 mil. And select the faces. Click all the faces. Click OK. I missed one face by mistake. To fix this, double click on fillet feature Click select to add the missing face and make sure you have selected all the faces. Click OK to finish the task. The model is complete now. Thanks for watching. I will be adding more videos soon. Please subscribe for notification. See you soon.